and we're gonna talk about plastic and paper. Plastic versus paper, it's all in the bag. So coming up here, our first slide, the bill. The measure is 0209-2014. It passed the city council just last week by a 28 to 20 margin. Now, elected originally proposed a 10 cent per bag fee, but thought that wouldn't be as popular, so they cut it in half to gain some traction. So five cent per bag is the law now. The fee, which goes to the merchant's pocket, actually goes into effect on October 1st of this very year. We got some more information to let you know about the scope of the problem. New Yorkers use about 9.37 billion plastic bags, disposable bags, paper and plastic, each year. And it costs the city some $12.5 million to cart 91 tons, 91,000 tons of bags into landfills. And the city plans to host reusable bag giveaways in anticipation of that October 1st uh, deadline before that fee kicks in. So there it is in the bag. Let's get into the A block. The city council vote was one of the closest in years. And to tell us about the pros and cons of the bag laws, they see it. We turn to council member Lori Cumbo who voted in favor of the bill. Welcome back to BK Live, Lori. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. I'm so glad to be back. Of course. And another supporter, Salim Shah, the director of communications for Citizens Committee for New York City. Thanks for being here. And uh, those are our guests. Thank you very much both for being here on BK Live. Lori, Thank you. let's start with you. I happen to agree with you, but I want to know, why do you support this bag tax, if we can call it that? It's not a tax. We Let's cannot start there. call it that. We cannot call it a tax. Um, this was a very controversial bill in the city council. I would say uh, this was the closest vote since I've been in the council. Uh, I held a town hall meeting uh, a couple of days prior to the actual vote because I wanted to hear what residents had to say. I wanted to hear how my district felt about this. And this was a very hard uh, piece of legislation uh, initially, initially for me to come to support. Um, there are so many great things about this bill, but there were also a lot of challenges as well. And for me, I overwhelmingly came to the conclusion that I wanted to support this bill, because when you hear the statistics, just like you said, the average New Yorker uses about 20 bags a week. Um, and that adds up. And as we saw, that adds up to 91 1,000 tons of bags that are not recyclable, that do, do not decompose, and they pose a serious threat uh, to our climate, to our environment. Uh, we have all of this, uh, these plastic bags in our landfills. They're clogging up our drains. They're clogging up our waterways. They wind up in our trees, in our sewage system. It becomes such a climate and environmental issue. And as humans, I believe that we are ultimately the caretakers of our world of our global world, of the environment. And so it became a question of making a decision to do something in the long run that's going to help our environment for generations to come. So, Celine, why not just ban the bags entirely? Well, I see you brought some <laughs> reusable ones, but yeah. why, what's why charge when we can well, just get rid of them? Well, I mean, we, if in a perfect world, we, we would want to ban these bags. I don't know what we did before 1976 when there weren't this huge billions and billions of in, uh, infusion of these uh, plastic bags. Um, so, yeah, we would love to ban the bag. I believe there are many special interests at work here, especially in the biggest city in the world, the, uh, the wealthiest city in the world. And uh, I think that might be a, a question for the, le the legislators. Um, Citizens Committee for New York City is uh, uh, on board with the bill is really because we give um, we are in the most low-income neighborhoods in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been there for 40 years. We give grants uh, to m uh, many volunteer organizations in the city to work on uh, quality of life uh, imp uh, improvement projects. And we've just felt that um, it's common sense uh, for folks to start bringing their reusable bags when they go shopping. Uh, my sister lives in L.A., and I was there a couple years ago, and— They don't even have them. They don't have them. I went into a Rite Aid, and they, they, <laughs> the lady looked at me like I'm crazy. Um, like, but that's Why? the West Coast, you know? <laughs> yeah. that's, that's very different. So what we find is that when we do these giveaways in uh, council districts across the city, um, regardless of whether council members are on the bill or, or not um, uh, sponsors, um, 
uh, both sets of council members feel that you know this is something really good for their neighborhoods um, to get folks into the habit of bringing their reusable bags. And uh, it takes usually 30 seconds uh, for me to convince someone or a council member to convince someone, hey, you know, help the environment, help help the economy. You know, we we haul um, so much waste to landfills, yeah. uh, plastic bag uh, included, um, and uh, to educate as well. So a lot of these reusable, a lot of the plastic bags. Uh, are not um, recyclable um, in our city facilities. Well, we spoke about those uh, poor communities that you guys are in and helping. So tell me why this isn't a regressive tax on the poor who now, in terms of, I got to go to the grocery store and try to afford what I, what I can for my family, and now I got to pay just to get it home, too. It's not an issue that impacts uh, what we would call poor communities. Um, I dislike that term because they're economically challenged but wealthy in many other ways. Why give them another challenge of five cents extra for every 20 bags you got to get home? If you look at an example, because there are many examples of circumstances that changed behavioral norms. Mm -hmm. So for me, for example, I used my Metro card, buy a Metro card, throw it away. Uh, buy my Metro card, throw it on the ground. Made you keep it. They said that we're going to charge you a dollar for every Metro card. And Suddenly, me, yeah. who had thrown my Metro card on the floor because I wanted a new one, it's a I wanted dollar a new now. It's a dollar. So now I have the same Metro card for the whole year. Uh -huh. And if I could use it longer than that, I will. Yeah. So, in that instance, to say that that's going to hurt uh, economically challenged communities, mm -hmm. it's not necessarily the case. It's a it's a situation of changing our behavior. When we look at things like cigarettes, cigarettes began at two or three dollars, went all the way up to thirteen and fourteen dollars. We didn't like that, yeah. so people that smoked began to change their behavior in terms of how they were going to look at something. Seatbelts the same way. You don't wear a seatbelt, you're going to get a ticket. And of mm -hmm. course, all of these measures are going to hurt economically challenged communities. But at the same time, we all have the ability to change our behavior and to think about things in a very different way. And I believe, because this has been done in over 200 cities across the world, mm -hmm. I believe that we have the ability to change our behavior and to do it for the sake of our community and to do it for our environment. But yes, I understand. New Yorkers do not want just another change. Just they don't want another, thing. quote, unquote fee. Yeah. They don't want any other things. And I hear you on that. But at the same time, this is a very important measure to help preserve and save our environment. It's mm -hmm. not just for us. It's for future generations to come. And Lori, you said it all. Go ahead. I please. just wanted to add that you know we New York City is known the world over for being the most progressive city in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we've lost our way in the last uh, few decades, but this can really you know this is very big for the country. If New York can pass this legislation um, in in this city, mm -hmm. um, it's 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 worldwide news really. So speaking of that progress, why is the money going to people who own stores and they're already making money off of the groceries when the city could use that money for environmental concerns to help in challenged communities to share the wealth instead of enriching private business people when we're already giving them our grocery money. That was my concern with the bill mm -hmm. overall, particularly coming from an art environment. I'm thinking, why don't we utilize that money, invest in our not-for-profit yeah. organizations? The, the reality of it is, and I think that a lot of people are utilizing this issue in terms of a political thing, because if you say that, that, that gains votes and people are like, yay. Yeah. But the reality of it is, in order to pass a tax mm -hmm. that would give you the power to determine where those resources um, would be distributed, that would have to happen on the state level. And currently, mm -hmm. in Albany, we don't have the votes or the support to pass something that would allow it to be a statewide tax. So I realized that the reality of that passing, we would have to have an entire Democratic uh, Senate and Assembly. Mm -hmm. They would all have to be in support of it in order to make a measure like that pass. So in Just the, for in, our city. Mm -hmm. So that's the way that it works. We couldn't impose that city fee? Correct because that would be a tax. Right. But the MTA can charge us the dollar for that Metro card, but we can't squirrel away five cents for the bag. I understand what you're saying, yeah. but the reality of the situation is, mm -hmm. in the city, we cannot impose a statewide tax. Mm -hmm. So this is a measure that we had to take in order to move this bill forward. If we waited until that time, yeah. who knows when 
a bill of this sort would be able to pass on a statewide level. Many cities did it in that way. They passed it in their city, and then it gained traction, and it was able to pass in the entire state. So that's one measure um, in terms of something that challenged me. Is that the big picture? Is that the plan to, like, seed it here by saying, here, five cents to the private business with the hope that it can later go statewide as a tax? for five cents that will go to help people? Well, ultimately, the goal is to eliminate plastic bags mm -hmm. globally. Yeah. So this is just one step in many efforts to do so. The other issue that came to me, what I was concerned about is, why can't we just do it like the bottles? You know, where you come in, you get the incentive yeah, and that sort of thing, can, right? Yeah. Love that. Right. The challenge with the plastic bags are, we do not have the infrastructure here in New York anyway. in order to recycle them. So they continue to be unrecyclable. Mm -hmm. And what the plastic bag manufacturers have said is, we will build a plant here, but the city would have to pay for it. Which mm -hmm. means that if you thought you were getting taxed on this five cents yeah. per bag, you would really be paying for it if we invested millions Millions of dollars um, in order to build a factory. So, so is anyone getting rich off that five cent thing? Like, uh, is the Gristides, is Gus Casamitis going to be sitting on five cents from everyone in the city now, like well, money? Mm -hmm. Well, I would like to just stress the point that if you do not want to pay the fee, yeah. bring your reusable bag. Don't make folks richer uh, than they already <laughs> so are. Uh, not to say anything bad about the former mayoral candidate. Uh, but, okay, um, <laughs> uh, but what we're saying is that, um, like I said earlier, 30 seconds, it takes, some, it takes you 30 seconds to convince folks to get into this habit a good habit, mm -hmm. just like the smoking ban, mm -hmm. very, in the words of Brad Lander, irritating initially, not irritating anymore. We love this smoking ban in restaurants and, and such. So this is on the same, we're, 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 we're catching up with the rest of the world. Right, I'm going to be happy when there are no more plastic bags and trees or the sewage system, like you said, right. sewer or system. Playgrounds. Especially post-Sandy, yeah. uh, you know, in this post-Sandy. But speaking of the behaviors, like, I, I'm a person who takes a cart. Like, I'm a Brooklynite. I take a cart shopping with mm -hmm. me, and I shop in my cart and put my <laughs> stuff back in. I'm infuriated when I see plastic bags go from the belt into the cart. You got a cart. Why do you need a bag in the cart anyway? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what is there an education component that even goes to supermarkets where they might suggest, oh, you have a cart here. Would you like me to put your groceries in the cart instead of into a bag into your cart for five cents each? Mm -hmm. I think that's a great suggestion. There is going to be a tremendous amount of education um, that's going to surround this piece of legislation. Our communities are going to have access to the recyclable bags that they can utilize. Mm -hmm. And the truth of the matter is, I love these. Yeah. Um, but there are also very slick and sleek. I have an eyeliner sleek. One that right. folds up right. into my pocket. You can put 10 of those in your purse, mm -hmm. and you will have never felt the difference that they're in your bag. You could put them into your pockets, yeah. and you'd never know. They are like wallet size, and oh. you can carry several of them and they're very light and most of them can hold about 25 pounds. How many years until we're completely free of plastic a la LA? Like this is the first step of what I assume is a march toward no plastic bags. Right. In the well, this, the intention of this bill was to dramatically reduce, reduce uh, the amount that you know bring it way, well down from nine billion yeah. plus to uh, whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. but so attach a year to it. By twenty, what we're not going to have bags <laughs> anymore, plastic. Well, bags. you know, th this is also in line with the mayor's uh, um, one NYC plan. Mm -hmm. You know, twenty thirty goals, twenty fifty goals, um, and uh, that's a great uh, that's a great point. Uh, I want to just make one last point here. Um, the the, uh, these plastic bags are made from fossil fuels, mm -hmm. you know, harsh, uh, harsh conditions, sure. um, energy intensive conditions to make these reusable, these, these, uh, these plastic bags. And, that's, and, and they cost money to make. They don't come out of thin air. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're just saying now we're passing it all along to the consumer. Uh, and we want to work, Citizens Committee for New York City would love to work with the city council um, to ramp up the number of giveaways across the city um, to get folks uh, on board. And when you, know, when you see people on the subway with these statements and, you know, New York City is our neighborhood, mm -hmm. um, it, it, you know, it galvanizes folks mm -hmm. uh, to get into this habit. It's infectious. Yeah. Yeah. And That's I'm great. sure we all have a million of those bags under our sinks anyway. If you don't want to oh pay, my goodness. just take them yeah. with you when you go to the store. That's right. Like, they just multiply. Yeah, it's crazy. absolutely. There's no shortage. There's no. 10 billion of them every year. I can't believe we're using that many. <laughs> That's right. Why did, this may be a more rhetorical question, but why can anyone even claim that this is a 
a hardship on dog owners. Like, is that a ridiculous oh. claim? Am I right? I don't know. Maybe you don't have to answer that. I think uh, Councilmember Ulrich was very clever um, okay. in his remarks that day. He's but got I, the bodegas <laughs> in his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But at the end of the day, when we look at this, this is not going to impact local bodegas. Uh, local shops. It's not going to impact your pharmacy when you go to Target mm -hmm. and those sorts of things. So for those who still need their fill of plastic bags, <laughs> there will still be ample opportunity for you to utilize them if you just have to. Right. And for me personally, if I utilized all those bags in my closet, I would have uh, ample again. use till yeah. the end of my lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> so the bodega guy can't charge you five cents when you go and buy that Snapple if you need a bag for if that If you Snapple. need a bag for right. that, that's right. And what we're hearing is from the, the youngest generation. They're saying to us adults, uh, you know, this you have to break the plastic bag habit. We're addicts, uh, mm -hmm. basically, to the plastic bags. And they're saying, you know, get with the program and uh, start bringing your reusable bags. And so we have to learn from them as well. And, and many people at the vote um, last week said, uh, many council members said, you know, it's our children's children that we have to uh, be concerned about. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we have to bring that into the dialogue as well. Well, I don't even have children, but I want. <laughs> I, I want them out of the trees, out of the playgrounds, like you say. I mean, I for so many reasons. I mean, I'm editorializing, but I think it's sure. a... It's a great bill. What is your website? You want to give it out real quick? The website we... is www.citizensnyc.org. For any type of neighborhood or community or school improvement project, we will give you up to $5,000 for your project. Uh, and and in, in Councilmember Cumbo's district this year, we've given $25,000 to many splendid groups, neighbors coming together, some of them working on, on bag bill issues. Very so, cool. Yeah. I'm with the council member. We can shift our thinking on this, right. and it won't be a tax. It's just a new way of thinking. Yes. Thank you very much both for being here. We Thank always you. appreciate it. Thank you. And this Thank is you for you. all the work that you do. Can I have one of these? Yes, I was afraid can. to ask. Oh my God. Uh, I brought a few for the, the crew. I'm the rich. Staff, and, uh, I'm going to save the world. A blatant plug I'm happy. For us. I always refuse plastic bags, but I'll bring this. Maybe there's my city council on one side. I'm not sure if that's. We've already thought of it. <laughs> To be continued. Right. Thank you both very much. Okay. Thank you.